This has always been a breeding ground of unusual religious movements in addition to mainstream religious movements. There's an incredible creative energy that's here, but there's an incredible spiritual energy that's here in Beechwood Canyon. This area that you're talking about, I think this is a really interesting idea. And ultimately, I think what it means is that it's a sacred site. It feels like there <laughs> must be some sort of energy that's there. There's a feeling that every day bursts with possibility. Humans have a spiritual need. They need the spirituality as much as their uh, food. The Tongva or Gabrielino people uh, lived in this place. They have evidence going all the way back to around 10,000 BC. They lived in balance with all the relatives. The land remembers. I think that Crotona was a big part of a wave during the 19-teens and 20s of bringing new ways of thought to Los Angeles. Madame Blavatsky foresaw California as a launch pad for the revolution in alternative spirituality that swept the globe for a new epoch in human evolution. There's the Rosicrucian Fellowship, there's Theosophy, there's Katana, Vedantasin. Hmm, there's something going on here. I looked out over the city and you could see clear down to the ocean by Santa Monica and it said, this is the new Alexandria. 1920s Los Angeles, 1930s Los Angeles. Who's Who's there? What's happening? Manly Palmer Hall. The belief in a guardian angel has undoubtedly contributed a great deal to the moral growth of mankind. He was 28 or something when he wrote that big book. The secret teachings of all ages. So it's like that the events that were happening here were definitely influencing the conversations that the theosophists in Central and Eastern Europe were having in the 1910s and 19-teens. The future of the esoteric, of esoteric spirituality is assured because it comes from the an innate need of human nature. Maybe Hollywood is here to show us the drama and the story in order that we may graduate from it.